Sorry, I didn't realize. Crazy. Getting fucking yelled at. I can't even do my stream intro because I'm getting yelled at over here. Don't start. <laughs> oh my god, guys, please help me. Um. Now I'm all fucking flustered, dude. This is unbelievable. <laughs> uh, good morning. Happy Wednesday. Happy Pizza Wednesday. I, for one, forgot it was Pizza Wednesday. But, uh, you know. It is what it is. Uh, and today I'm going to do some Scottish Matt. I don't know how to say it still. No judge, please. Oh, it's one off. Um, yeah, if you remember yesterday we played on this map. It was really brutal. We had some very interesting encounters. Uh, we're very far up north. There's a heli crash right there. I don't think that's the same site as yesterday that I like almost got fucking sniped at, but... This nice SKS. We gotta almost have a full gas suit. I really want to do the, the gas soon. But we'll see if we can like get into that. And yeah, uh, Philly, he, the love of my life, who's also being very mean to me. I take it back. I love you. Uh, Cat Decon Rich, good to see you guys. Yeah, Rip Bear. Bear was Bear was a cool guy. But it, I don't know what was going on with his, like, headset and hearing, but I was trying to tell him, like, dude, we're getting shot at. And, like, <laughs> he just didn't, he wasn't listening. Ugh. Okay. So I haven't had any caffeine yet today. So, like, I'm, uh, you know. I was trying to drink some of my... I'm having some Coke. It's 10.30. It's a little early for a Coke, but honestly, I don't give a shit. I've been trying to not drink coffee. I feel like that, that, that just de dehydrates me. And I feel like I drink it and still feel tired, so... I've been more on tea, but... I think I'm out of out of my, like, pre-made, uh... Like, cold brew tea. Or iced tea. So I just went, I had a Coke in the fridge from the other night when we were on the way back from the basketball game. So I was like, you know what? I'll just have a Coke. Is it Saturday yet? Not yet. I went and got a Coke too. <laughs> yeah, I just had one. They like stopped at Wawa after the, the Heat Sixers game the other night. And I got a Coke for, I don't know, I was just feeling it, but I didn't, I didn't actually drink it. And uh, now, uh, now I'm putting it to use. I want to do a little sweep of this military again. But I feel like the NBC stuff was really spawning at military spots. Okay, is that in better condition? No, it's worse. I don't think I've seen a single gun cleaning kit. Vacuuming our apartment building right now, and that's all I can hear. It's just the subtle ring of the uh, the vacuum cleaner in the background. I apologize if I don't think my mic filter would pick it up, but uh, just in case, I apologize. But it's, just know it's bothering the shit out of me. <laughs> I take the jungle boots now. With that sound, can you hear it? Like in the background? No? They're just fucking with me? Stupid the zombies are. Oh fuck. There's a dead zombie. There could be someone here, dude. Fuck. God, I wish the zombies weren't actually dumb. 
What's up, Haken? Dude, like, what is this? No, what? Alright, so I didn't kill that zombie. Which means someone is probably here. Or was here very recent. Maybe went to that heli crash. I'm just picking up my life from yesterday. Well, if somebody was here, I would imagine that they've already looted this and they went to the heli crash. So I think that's what I will I will also do. I'm going to loop around to the heli crash see if I can get some overview. It's either unlooted or they're down there and I can be the one shooting at someone at the heli rather than vice versa. That was scary yesterday. I, mean, I feel like I barely came out of that. <clears throat> this has been a life of like avoidance. Like we're just escaping fights that we maybe shouldn't escape sometimes. There's zombies over there. I mean, let's go do the rocks for this one. <clears throat> like, we survived the heli crash encounter, we survived that crazy encounter at the airfield where we were in, like... It was super quiet the whole run. Uh, the whole time we were with Bear, pretty much, and then all of a sudden there was, like, a four-way, five-way gunfight that we were just stuck in the middle of and we lost Bear to. And then there was the beach, when I was on the beach getting sniped at. Like, there was a lot of situations we... we came out of that we maybe shouldn't have. I don't think I had a single kill either. I hit I hit that one guy with the SSG a couple times, but that whoever was at that milli before me probably heard this heli, heli go down. Maybe looted it, but zombies there. That's where the heli was yesterday, where I almost died at. useless at range maybe I just go for it I don't know I feel like kind of a <clears throat> 
be like a fish in the barrel moment. What's up, Nicola? How you doing? Y'all go around. I've kind of had eyes on all the different angles. Like these rocks here, I kind of went behind, didn't really see anything. This bit of rocks here. Keeping an eye up there. I can clear this like little tree line here, I think. Relatively okay. What's up, Chris? How you doing, brother? Ellie crashes had some okay loot. I get this sweet SKS from it. Although it's not <laughs> great for how I typically like to play as a sneaky boy. A, a hot pink or purple SKS isn't gonna do me too many favors. Although it was the best ranged weapon I have with scope, so. Am I right? What's that? Other P. <laughs> oh, someone drop shit. Okay. VSS and a Vyga. Poopy. Josh, how you doing here? Day two. <laughs> Am I just <laughs> stunned at my yeah. That's very possible. Go check out whatever these shots were. <laughs> What's that down in the city? Pretty close. Oh, I ended up, man. Am I out of knives? No, I have the bones. Good. Oh, yeah, it's down in the city. I don't know, like, maybe one of them was up on the mountain because one of the shots sounded pretty close to me. That's possible. Let's see if I can get a if I can get a hunting scope. That would be act, actually really good. <laughs> I've had the savanna for like most of this life and just you know, I haven't really been able to use it. It was a free day, so I'm resting a little enjoying it. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, uh, he's hosting a uh, community day on Saturday. So, if you're free and want to hang out and play some DayZ with a bunch bunch of cool people, including my favorite person in the world, then have at it. Make sure to tune in or be there. Kind of funny if one of them like fell off a rock or something. 
kind of pizza tonight? I don't know. I actually forgot it was Pizza Wednesday. I don't think we have dough. I think E said she wanted to do, wanted to go get some. She's just now discovering that we have mod pizza here, so she, I think she wants to do like mod pizza. Which I don't mind, I like mod pizza. Couple Voodoo Rangers for breakfast, I don't even know what that is. But like an IPA? Sounds like an IPA. What's up, Mega? Good to, good to see you. Good morning. Uh, and Mena. I almost said Me Mega because I just said hi to Mega. Mena, thank you so much for the five gifted memberships, dude. What the fuck? Right off the rip, huh? I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. It's an IPA, nice. <laughs> I say it sounds like a very IPA ish uh, name. Keep coming back. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you. Get some love and chat for Mena. That's very, very kind. We've had a lot of new memberships lately, which is really cool. Where were these shots, though? That's what's tough about a map like this when you're like shot hunting is if you don't know the area, like it'd be really tough to distinguish where shots are coming from. Happy hump day, what's up, Al? a dam over there? That looks pretty cool. Wiener Wednesday, Wyland. What do you got? Hot dogs on the menu? Nine and a half percent alcohol for, a, for an IPA. Okay. Sounds about right. Hope you got the day off if you're having morning beers, though. I mean, you, you do you. You live your life. Just be safe. Chili dogs. Nice. Chili dogs. All paranoid now. Careful, dude. I'm not saying you can't handle yourself. I'm not trying to tell you how, you how to live your life. Just uh, be careful, is all. <clears throat> Bwad chili talks. Okay, there you go. Good. <laughs> Care about you. <laughs> I just know a lot of people that do a lot of dumb shit, so. What's up, DJ? How you doing, man? That was an indoor snipe shot, it sounded like. I don't know where from, though. Man, I'm not gonna lie, your uh, <clears throat> your little con concoction yesterday made me was making me hungry this morning. Your mac and cheese and loaded potato with pulled pork. That sounds so good. <clears throat> Don't have anything too crazy. I just made um. 
I made some uh, breakfast sandwich, breakfast sandwiches for the two of us. Some bacon, egg, and avocado. Just to eat something. Having it again for lunch? Hell yeah, dude. I'm all for it. store would be so nice but there's shots over here I can't risk it right now Games of pain. All right. There's definitely a lot of uh, be a lot of problems and growing pains for sure. Damn, for an hour? That's all you did. We've gotten those pre preseason pork shoulders. That's how we just made pulled pork not too long ago, and that's what we did. We just got it from like ShopRite or something, I forget. Excited to see you play Grey Zone. What's Grey Zone? No idea what that is. <laughs> What's up, Aga? Welcome, welcome. Access, good to see you. Cross platform. I have no. I think you can probably play it between, uh, like PS4, PS5. I don't know about Beyond though. Seems like Daisy meets Tarkov. Okay. You have an instant. Oh yeah, instant pot's nice. Oh, pressure cooked. Okay, I'm thinking slow cooked. Pressure, yeah, pressure cooker's nice, dude. I used to have one, but it broke. The like little pressure seal broke somehow. Oh shit, that shot may have came from like the jail thing. We, we let it sit for like six hours a minimum in the slow cooker in the crock pot. It's, it's good though. It turns out really good.
Hard boiled eggs in the air fryer. What? I don't even. I don't like air. Uh, hard boiled eggs, but you can make them in the air fryer. I've heard so much shooting over here. Not seeing a soul. Guess we just keep creeping around town. <laughs> yeah, slow cooker meals do make life easy. I feel like we maybe don't do them enough, but when we do it, they're really good. Especially, especially at, for, at times like now, where he and I are just so busy pretty much all day. It's like sometimes we don't really feel like making food at the end of the day, you know? I heard at least three different gunshots. I'm also really regretting not picking up that electrical repair kit now. I found one early on when I was like on the fringe of dying and I didn't pick it up to save space for other shit. Or I didn't have space or something. And now I'm really needing it. Cause not only is this map really foggy, but like, that makes visibility hard to see at distance, but you know, with the scopes it's even worse when they're cracked. <sighs> Kinda, I wish I knew if there was a hospital here or not. I'd all I need is a respirator and a filter to go in the gas zone. Let's check to see if there's another second loot quick. Do some eating too. My inventory is a fucking shithole. So we're in the mile. Maybe we'll go north and check to see what the, this thing is. Kelpie. Let's see what Kelpie's about. Looks like an island. It's something on an island. Go ahead, like, go ahead, hug this east side of the town. Avoid the gas zone and the sniper spots. I'll go up here and see what's going on. Eat some of this food and try to lighten up. Ooh. 
use new pants, electrical repair kit, or a hunting vet, uh, hunting scope. And also just a gas mask respirator. Let me, I, I need to fucking organize. This is going to drive me nuts if I don't organize my inventory. Put all my NBC shit down here. Gloves, respirator. I don't have the rope anymore, so I can't really fish. I do have the room. Old Tetris gameplay. Well, fuck. Um, <laughs> WD, dude. That's an incredibly kind of you. Thank you for the $100 super chat. What the f Just playing Tetris, man. Thank you very much, dude. I, I do really appreciate that. And I hope we can get some love in, in the stream chat. I say stream chat like that. In the chat for, uh, for WD. That's fucking crazy, dude. Thank you so much. That goes a long way for me. And I hope it's not just the morning beers talking for you. <laughs> Get out of here. Let's go check out that northern bit. I wonder if there's people up there. Oh, I got you. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you very fucking much. All good, DJ. Ah, oh, fuck. Cargo pants. I think I'd rather have these cargos. What a tease to put that path there. Yeah, really, right? What the fuck? Actually, let me see what it is. Oh, it's just a pepper. That looked really weird for a sec, I don't know. These look like I've been damaged.
Easy. Yes, some worn shoes. Nice. Okay, shoes problem is pretty much fixed. That's good. A knife. Nice. Sewing kit would be cool. Is there like a bunker in the gas zone maybe? That's what all these rocks are. Shit. I'll take these hunter pants, they're actually in good condition. Can't go this way. Man, I really want to see what's in that center of the city. Placement gloves, we will take. Eight five thirty. I don't even know what that is. What's up, Gibby? <laughs> Steel's cream soda. Hey. Leave that for E. He loves cream soda. I do not. I think it's too sweet. Joint cream. <laughs> Stinging your eyes? I guess like the fumes. Would be better than cream soda? I agree. Cream soda's good. I don't I don't dislike it, it's just never my go-to. Yeah, I've gotten out of the habit of drinking soda all that much. I mean I be, I used to drink it every day, so and obviously that's not good. <laughs> so I've replaced most of my like craving for the for the carbonation with my soda stream. Like I just make seltzer water with it basically. I get those little <clears throat> flavor water droplets or droppers, whatever you call them. I stick that in my water, so I get and then I make like a fruit punch seltzer water or something. Or a lemon lime whatever. Yeah, um, miso? I forget what it's called. You'd be right though, miso, I don't know. You know what I mean though, like just the flavor drops. And just make my, because it's the carbonation for me that I really like. Not even really the sugars, it's the carb, carbonation. I blue gate to the claymore. Uh, I don't know. I don't know much about base reading in DZ. To be honest with you, I don't really delve into that side of the game. I mainly stick with the uh, just vanilla survival and PvP. But I imagine I, I'm pretty sure anything that goes boom, you can raid with. Ooh, that's huge. I wasn't looking for that, but we found... Uh, we're going to find it to be useful. I'm sure can. There you go. Not a good old... <laughs> good looking old person. What's up, Decon? How you doing, dude? Alright, plate is good. I wonder what's up at that island, though. I'm like getting, getting real curious now. Bunch of sheds. I'll go check those sheds, I think. Scope repair kit would be the best thing to happen to me right now. 
That or we win the lottery. As I look at my seltzer vodka beverages. Vodka seltzer. That's a popular one, right? Uh, I'm not a vodka guy, as we've discussed, so... I don't typically go that way. Oh, you mean like, you're talking like, uh, what's that called? Like, I don't know, like a Truly or something? I think that's what you guys are talking about. I don't, those are okay. Oh, there's a hospital right here. Don't you love it when I have the melee? It should have like a small advantage at range with melee against zombies. And I swing my knife and it doesn't hit, but their regular punch hits. It's my favorite. Iranian New Year. Happy Iranian New Year. Oh my god. sniping from miles away. Into apartment guy today? Gibby, yeah, were you apartment guy? Be honest. Some videos. No worries, Jack's good to see you, dude. Welcome. Yeah. Empty as fuck. I really want to go in that gas zone. No way I'm gonna see that guy. I was like, maybe I'll do a couple, give him a couple, you know, pot shots just for shits. Any fire departments? Not yet. I haven't, not in this city. Tetra? No Tetra. Oh, I really need to stop triple carrying. It's driving me nuts.
Oh, there's like underground shacks. Come on. That's pretty cool. Interesting. What's up, Josh? They are all the same age, technically, if you consider people have to have been from the same atom. Sigh. Confirmed I'm Haken's mom and dad. <laughs> Your wife's grandma turned 105 this year. Damn. That's a GG. This is like... I got way more... This way, but this road should take me to where I want to go. It should, it should. I think. Unless this is like Ah uh, yeah, I need to go need to go more north. <laughs> nice decal, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah. Maybe I do need to just, I don't know. I feel like shit is so backwards sometimes. It says there's a road that leads up this way, but I don't know. If I was here, I need to go pretty much northeast. I don't know if I was at that bottom road or the top road. I, I guess I had to have been at the top road. Okay, so. But then the compass is like, I guess this way. Yeah, all right. Looks like debug though. Take the high road, I'll take the low road.
Find any good loot yet? Not really. I found a leather repair kit to fix my plate up. And some replacement shoes and some clothes. That's all I've all I found. And some food. I'm trying to go to this place that's at like the northern edge of the developed area. And see what what it is. It looks like some something on an island, so I'm thinking it could be cool. You're only 60% banana. Oh. <laughs> uh, Toad, what's up, man? How are you doing? Thank you for the brand new chili subscription, buddy. I appreciate it. I hope your Tarkov raids went well yesterday. I couldn't stay very long, but uh, sent some sent some people over there for you. Okay, so no tin is um, a longtime community member, and he also streams. So you should definitely, uh, you know, check him out. Go show him some love. Plays a lot of different, more of a variety streamer, I'd say. Tarkov, Daisy. Uh, fuck, what's that medieval game you play? I can't remember. All sorts of stuff. So you should definitely check him out. Great dude. Military right here. Chivalry, yeah, that's it, that's it. Yeah, that game that game looks really fun. I've watched a lot of people play that. Another gas zone? Dude, there's so many gas zones on here. Strongest toes on the two. <laughs> Arkroft was good to you yesterday? Good. Love to hear it, dude. Hey, good to see you. Thank you for updating that command. I don't think I've seen a single weapon cleaning kit yet, so maybe we can get lucky. I, re I will say, I really like the look of this map so far, but the loot economy is really fucking wonky. Which is all good, you know, that, that kind of stuff is to be expected, but... I think if they, if the map maker can get that sorted, I think this will be a pretty damn good map. I swear, the NBC stuff spawns like, I mean, for this map, pretty crazy at, <laughs> at the military. Like, this is good loot, is finding a couple handful of items in one barrack. Guess maybe I should loot the Arma 2 barrack then, quick? Or the HQ, sorry. SVD mag. Alright, so there's loot in here. I feel like the start on this map is so brutal that most people are probably not making it like...
that far. Like, the casual, like, I'm just gonna hop on and see how far I can get. I feel like they're not making it too far. That's not a knock on nobody, but... <laughs> you know. Just reorganized all my shit. And that's... Go to hell again. But whatever. Hey, I got space to not have to always have my gun out now. And that's another weird thing with this too, is like with a wonky loot economy. I can't ever fucking tell if like what I'm finding is what I'm supposed to find or if it's like drop loot unless it's very obvious with like big stacks of stuff. Plus goobers to deal with that way. Like, yeah. At the same time it's kind of like you want that eminent looming threat, you know? Hey, good morning, Brian. Happy pizza day. Dude, another gas zone, though. So this is like a Castle Island gas zone. Damn. All right, Chris, take care, dude. Have a good one. Hey, look at that little Dan. Like a little... <laughs> I like that. Threatened by Google? Well, sometimes. I want to go in these gas zones. Three perma gas zones. See, this is this is what's up. Like that's the kind of shit I like. There's a lot of exploration and and things to see, but like more than just traveling to them. Like this is the first stage of development, I think, and there's already three perma gas zones. That's pretty sick. Okay. But we can't go there yet, so our plan is to try to find a gas res uh, a respirator. Breakfast pizza, nice. It does look like there's some stuff that maybe I could loot on the other side of the lake. So maybe we'll go see if I can loot that. I think. I don't know. Let's let's take a look. Just in case, because it does look like it's industrial over there. So if I could get lucky and get some industrial loot, and get like a scope repair kit, huh? Huh? That'd be good. So hopefully we can get lucky and maybe we'll get lucky and find a hunting scope in like one of the hunting stands or something. Like I said though, this map is really, I, I love the terrain on it. I love the, the uh, like little touches like the dams and the sewer grates and things that just make it feel a little bit more lively. I can appreciate a map that has a lot of attention to detail, and this seems to, to really go above and beyond with that, you know? Certainly one of the better early release maps in the modding community for DayZ. Hey, much love, Tyson. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you for the, the 19 months of Chili membership, man. That's insane. There's so many people that are at or approaching two years of, of membership. Uh, I, what do you want to call it? Like access? I don't know. Membership support? I don't know. But it means the world to me. You guys have been a vital part of not just my community and my job, but my life, man. Like I couldn't do this shit without your guys' extended support. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. He says thank you. Hi. Right. Thank you. I'm gonna go. To what? Oh, I thought you meant like leave. I was like, I thought you weren't doing that. Sounds good. What the fuck? There's a zombie up there. I thought that was a player. I'll have to go check that out, see if there's something up there. Thank you, I need that. Yeah, you do. So do you! I have one! So do you! Guys, he's spicy today. Just a heads up. What? What'd you hear? You said that I was spicy. That's not what I said. Nope. Damn, that looks really cool. I want to go to that. It's like, a, it's like they transformed a castle into a military zone. Oh, huh? I'll kiss. Thank you. You're welcome, Cajun breath. Guys, E, we had five guys last night, and E had the Cajun fries, and her breath still smells like the Cajun fries, and I keep trying to tell her. I'm trying to drop hints, and she's just not getting them. She's in denial. I mean, every day. <laughs> I'm at a year supporting, but watched a year before that made up for it. The, oh, dude, no. Yeah, it, that stuff doesn't matter. I'm Like, it doesn't make a difference, right? I just like to appreciate... You know, make sure my appreciation is known to anybody that supports anyway. I think it's incredible that I can have as many people that watch me watch me, but also have like a good portion of those people also like uh, support the channel financially for almost two years now. Like that's fucking crazy, you know? That kind of stuff is really, really special to me. It means a lot. No, 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 I, I'm just saying, like, I'm not trying to undersell anybody that hasn't been a member for two years. It's more so just, like, I don't know. I'm just trying to appreciate everything. Because I, I do. I do appreciate everything. And all, the, all the support in any way means a lot. Ah, oh, dude. That's so cool. Oh, shit, there's stuff like a tower over there. Bye, honey. Have a, a good time doing the thing. Doing the stream. I think that's what you mean. Oh. There you go. Yeah, lots of gifted subs, too. We appreciate ya. Like B just said, screw on you sub to your peasants. You got me. Hey, well, thanks for 15 months, man. I appreciate that. I had something I find value within. Thank you, man. I, I do appreciate that very much. Beat camps, simulcast. No! I gave you guys feet documentary, man. What more do you want? Sorry, um... Okay, just got some good news, that's good. I've kind of kept it, uh... On the down low, because it's, you know, like, personal stuff, but my dad's been in the hospital. And we had some scares, but he... It's turning out to be not what they thought. They rolled out a lot of uh, negative things, and he is probably going to be going home t today, so that's good.
Yeah. I'll tell you, give you more details, honey, but. Much better today. <laughs> Thank you, Des. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that very much. It's been, it's been a little stressful. I've tried to keep my composure and, you know, continue on. Uh, especially because they're very, they're not very far, but they're pretty far that I can't just make like a, you know, take a, f a few minutes out of my day to go see. It's like I'm busy with work and everything and I'm like a... I'm just on the grind right now, and it's like, if I, if I could, I would go down there, but it's like a couple hours drive. And if it was an emergency, obviously I would go. Um, but I didn't know about it until he was checked in and they cleared him of some bad stuff, so I was just like, okay. And then we thought he was going to have to get surgery, and we were definitely going to go visit after surgery, but it looks like they're not going to have to do that, so that's really good. It just sucks. I, what I'm saying is, is I wish I was. We were a little bit closer sometimes for matters like that. That's hard, you know, when you're like on a set schedule and you're trying to stick to things and make things work, and it's just life throws curves ball, curve balls is all. So it's been stressful, but we're good. Me too. Me too, Philly. I bet. I, that's how I would feel, Anthony. I haven't worked out in a long time. Not with, like, with lifting and stuff. Kept kicking tunes yesterday? Really? I haven't had any problems like that. I played yesterday for like four to five hours and I didn't have any any st stability or like server issues. I mean, yeah. I mean, thankfully it's not that bad. Like if, I, you know, we're not like states away. Just I live like near the city and they live pretty, pretty far out. Really should be more yen. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't. I don't really have the time. We did break our like month and a half long streak of doing some some stretching every day. So I I, I was getting some exercise, but not like lifting or anything. Something is is far better than nothing. When I stretched this morning. I keep, I'm having like a chronic tension headache, man. <laughs> it's been like three days. But I think it's mostly stress. And and honestly, just my posture. Because as, as soon as I started stretching, like, you know, you do some like shoulder and upper back and, and neck stretches, and then I was instantly having some relief. So I think that has to do a big part with part of it. Yeah, that is tough. That is tough, Philly. Aw, oh, that sucks, Mike Gomber. I'm, really, I'm really sorry to hear that. You know, I feel old. <laughs> More than two hours, Ripple, where the hospital is, first of all. Second of all, this is my job, and this is how I make my money. And frankly, I can't really afford to take days off. But, uh, cool, dude. You know, make your assumptions and be a dick. That's really cool. Really nice of you. 
Really courteous of you. You need Tetra. Yeah, push-ups are good for you, man. It's a, it's more. A lot of people think it's just chest, but it's it's really good for uh, pretty much all over your body. Good for core strength. Good for shoulders. There's a lot of different ways you can do different push-ups too to like uh, flex and and do different muscle, hit different muscles. Monitor at 100% brightness. Uh, I don't know. Probably. It's probably it's probably something to do with that too. It's probably like um like over overstrain. guys don't don't assume a hundred percent of the details of something that someone shares with you like or don't assume details of something personal that someone shares with you like I'm obviously leaving stuff out because I'm not trying to get too into it right I obviously care very deeply about my parents and my family but I can't really afford to take an entire day off of work is the problem so and my mom kept telling me, like, everything is okay. You don't need to come visit. It's very far for you. Because, like, my parents live about an hour and a half away. And then I guess they went to a, a hospital further away from, you know, away from my direction. Maybe to a specialist because it's been a reoccurring problem. So, yeah, don't, be in a, uh, don't assume things and make an ass out of yourself. Especially about a, a, a topic that's, like, sensitive, right? About my family, not your family, right? There's reasons and details that you don't know, so don't be a fucking asshole. Thank you. You can just, you can just fucking. Ban him, dude. Fuck that shit. Don't tell me about my life, man. You don't know shit. <laughs> What's up, Kevin? Good to see you. Yeah, that's... That's pretty fucked up. That's why a lot of people on the internet don't share things that are sensitive, but I thought, you know, we got some good news about it, so. <sighs> Whatever. Never seen that dude in, in chat either, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Come on, man. Just unnecessary. Anyway, um, so I guess uh, we want to try to find a respirator. Uh, I guess maybe the airfield, because I feel like, like I said, I think all this stuff is really spawning in the military. And the airfield had a fire station, too. So maybe we just go south to the airfield then. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. It's just like... <laughs> I just need to, I feel the need to make it clear, like, I'm not choosing, like, nah, I don't want to go see my dad in the hospital, because I'd rather play video games. It's like, no, I gotta work, man. And it's far, and my mom assured me that everything was cool. And it turns out everything is cool, so it's, it's okay, it's, just, you know. Uh, 
you guys show dogs too? I didn't know that. Ma Dude, I love Mastiffs. Mastiffs are awesome dogs. Big ass motherfuckers, but they're awesome dogs. A new puppy Sunday, a male and is a gold a, a gold mastiff? I don't think I've ever seen a golden a gold furred mastiff. It's probably gorgeous. I'm sure there's lots of people for sure to not even lots of people I'm sure all most of us have missed lots of things so so it is what it is it's just crazy I have to even like I don't know We'll just drop it. We just need. I just need to drop it. It just shit like that bothers me. That ticks me. But we'll move on. Try to focus. Tibetan. Look up to Tibetan Mastiff. I will. Thank you, Phil. I appreciate that. Uh, salute. What's up? Keep up the go hey, thank you. I appreciate that very much. I'm happy to inspire, man. And I hope you're enjoying the game. Dashwind. Nice. Those are good dogs, too. <laughs> yeah, people get really intimidated by the barks, but... You gotta remember, dogs are very, like, loyal pack animals, so they... You know, some of them are more friendly and they want everybody's attention, but a lot of them are still, like, instinctually, like, trying to protect their own, you know? Like, they, that's their place, that's their family, they're trying to just do their thing, but then once they see that you're friendly, they will be friendly, too. Most dogs, if, you know, even the slightest bit trained or handled properly, most of them are not going to attack you. And if you show fear, dogs will sense that. Like, that's that's a very real thing. Like, when I got Uno, Uno was terrified, man. And if my reaction was to also be terrified, he would not be comfortable with me at all. And I was calm with him. I was patient with him. I sh gave him his distance, but I also showed him love and affection when he allowed me to. And he's, like... My best friend now, so. And he sits in the same spot every day while I stream or while I work. When he, uh, when he doesn't get, when he doesn't go into the room with E, he's out here with me sitting in the same spot on the couch. Like we're hanging out, <laughs> you know? Because he probably doesn't get that I'm like playing a game, but he knows this is where I go. This is my spot. So he has his spot right next to me. And that's why you guys can hear him most of the time when he dreams. scared I could not run. <laughs> I get it, man. I, I've just, especially if you haven't grown up around around uh, dogs or animals at all. Like, I grew up my whole life, we had at least two dogs. So I'm just so used to them. I'm so comfortable. You know? I mean, there's certainly dogs that aren't tr trained properly or handled properly and yeah they will attack because they've probably been trained to attack you know and not in like a po like a positive like not like a not like a police dog so like you know in a negative co uh, connotation or concept <laughs> like if you guys ever were to meet uno right and you weren't comfortable around dogs, like, he will bark. And he is a loud, deep bark at people that he doesn't recognize. And sometimes it is, it's at people that he does recognize, but he's just a very verbal, he's a very verbal dog. So when he wants something, he's like, he's like saying that he wants something. 
And a lot of the time it's he's pulling and he's barking. And people see that as an aggressive behavior. But it's him being he wants attention. Like he's I've trained him to to be calm and to like settle when he cuz he gets very hyper focused and very like oversensitized. He's like over overly sensitive to stuff sometimes like he'll just kind of like freak out. Um oh there's a fire station here. Nice. And I've trained him to to get away from that and obviously sometimes we have more success with it than other times. When I when we command something but he, like, when he sees someone, he wants attention. Like, he loves attention now. He used to not, but now he does. Especially with women. He, for some reason, I think it's because of the... The person that worked with him very extensively when he was in the shelter was a woman. I think he's very... He has a very, like... Uh... Emotional attachment to, like, any woman that he sees. He loves my mom. He loves E. Like, he just likes... He has a, a, a thing for women. He's a ladies man. That's what I always say. And he, um... Yeah. But people will see, like, him getting excited and pulling and barking. His bark is very intimidating and it maybe would come across as aggressive. I can see that. That zombie scared the shit out of me. But it's him just wanting attention. So it's like, if you didn't know dogs, you would just be scared. Like, that's your natural instinct. I think hell my out of the line. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> What's up, Bobby? How you doing? Yes, yeah, so it's usually the owners and how they <laughs> and how they how they treat the dogs. It is usually that. I'll tell you right now, Uno, like I said, Uno is a big motherfucker. When he's on his back legs, he's as tall as me. So about six foot two. And he's got a deep bark. But he does not have an aggressive bone in his body. He's been attacked by other dogs before. And he didn't even fight back. He was just, like, scared. Oh my god. But like I said, if you don't know animals... You just hear this loud bark, you automatically associate that with... I'm scared. <laughs> you know? That's just how it goes. Sadly for me, I was never able... He's not really good with other dogs. He's never, like I said, he's been attacked, but he never has instigated a fight. He'll he'll bark at other dogs, and he gets really anxious around other dogs. Like, he's very scared. Because he lived in a shelter for, I think, the first few years of his life. I'm very certain that they lied to me about, um... His previous homes and placements and how old he was. Just to try and get, at, get him out. And he was never really socialized, and I could tell that when I got him. And I started working with him. Like, he had a trainer, and we were working, and, I, like, I know some dog training stuff. We got, like, an actual trainer to help help me with him. And he was starting to get better, and we were starting to get to the point where we were going to socialize him and try to, like, knock out some of the bad associations he created. Because, he, you know, shelter... If you've, ever, if you've ever been to a dog shelter, um... They're not good environments for dogs. And it's better than being being on the streets, but like... It can be a very ba bad place for them. It's very loud. It's very jarring to them. Uh, like, they, a lot of the times, they're not clean. When I got Udo, he was covered in dirt and mud and... His fur was all like... Matty and just like not healthy like it just not wasn't a healthy place for him mentally or physically and That created a bad association with like other dogs, you know She dude I'm gonna take that motion, I think And it's sad because then I had to start working with him and then when I started working with him and getting to the point where we were gonna try to socialize him COVID hit and Yeah, so 
he is now like much older. It's not much older. He's probably my estimation would be like five. And it's really hard to get that out of their head at this point. And we've continued to try, but I just don't know if he'll ever kind of get over all that, you know? Um, okay. So I'm going to drop the SK. My kids act like dumb. Oh. <laughs> and Rent has doubled, yeah. Rent has doubled. Why? I have inventory space. Know. Kinda sucks we're dropping the the sweet SKS, but I'm so sick of triple carrying and I will take a Mosin any day of the week. I really hope it's still there. That would be a damn shame if it's gone. Rent was more expensive than a mortgage. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I'm ever gonna... I don't know how... I think renting is okay. How it goes, Tita. Fuck that, dude. Still down. I remember yesterday it was really fast coming back up. Selling that house? Yeah, you should have kept... If, if possible, maybe hold on to the property and wait for... You know, a better sell point, but... Running Man plays the same map. Uh, thank you, but... Uh, let's try to keep meta out of the streams, please. So any information that I wouldn't know, like obviously I wouldn't have known that uh, he was playing this as well, so I don't want that to impact my gameplay at all, you know? If I don't know that, I don't want anybody telling me from the outside in, you know? I have news! What's your news? going pee. <laughs> the news is she's going to be the first dance Sunday. Damn. Well, I'll go see if... Oh, my game crashed. Awesome. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hello.
Wow. How do you know? Oh. Yeah. Have my little phone interview. Okay. I didn't know you had a phone interview. She called me this morning and I missed it. Oh. I called her back and I left a message. Well, I'm going to just try and call her back. Mm hmm. I called her back and spoke and sent me. Mm hmm. But it's remote. Wow. That's but it's awesome. Dispatching. Cool. We start Monday. Well, fuck. <laughs> you handled more at the other thing, didn't you? Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds like it. So, I'm not going to. Right, you shouldn't until you're. I think it's. Like, it works. Uh huh. Want me to... Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm just fucking having a conversation. I just didn't know if you wanted me to mute no, or no, not. No, it's okay. I was just saying. Okay. Huh? Oh. Can't promise. You said that and then I destroyed you on Zelador, so. Okay, bye. I love you. So it was mine. Easy to say. I hate when I am on DZSA and I hit load instead of play because I don't really even know what load does. I feel like it just gets my, it just confuses my launcher and then I get stuck on the loading. Like it trying to transfer from the launcher to the actual DZ and I hit that fucking twice. So I had to Alt F4 or Task Manager close, I mean, and I couldn't find it the second time and I was getting annoyed. Um, mm -hmm. news is pizza night. That's not news. It's every Wednesday. Yeah. Uh. Well, she hasn't taken it yet. It's a very potent, a very good potential opportunity, which she's been very stressed about. So that's another thing that's on my plate that's been stressful. Um, I think she's talked about it at this point, but uh, essentially she was laid off from one of her jobs because they just weren't getting any work. Like she did some dispatching stuff, and they just weren't getting work. And then got news that her other job was looking for a replacement because they, even though they think her performance is fine. Oh, I hit load again. That's. Uh, they wanted to find someone that could do it in person, even though they negotiated and had like uh, something set up where she was able to do it remote. I don't know. It's weird shit all at once. Very stressful for both of us. Um, but yeah. So now she potentially has something good. She's had a couple contacts and interviews to stuff scheduled, and this one's remote, which is what she wants. She wants to work remote so she can do some other stuff at the same time, and it's just, you know, the comfort of being at home. Working from home is awesome. Um, yeah, so that's another stressor. Not potato aim. Yeah, dude. My aims... I hit my shots, but my aim sucks, so... So far, so good. That's awesome. I'm back. I had to have some breakfast, and... I have to ask, have you played Rust? I have played Rust. I've made a couple of videos on Rust. I've made a couple, like, tutorial-style videos. Uh, and I've made a couple, like... Rust playthrough videos. I, I I don't think I'm gonna do that f again for a while. Doing too much other stuff to like have time. People now like in person. <laughs> yeah. Bro, am I really stuck in queue because my game crashed? That sucks. Okay, honey. I'll talk to you later too. Hey, I hope I think you're doing the thing too, so I hope you have a good stream and I will do my best to have a good one too. <laughs> yeah. 
The map scallywag. What's up, sauce? Yeah, it's basically what it's called. Stuck on this shit, man. This sucks. Sound like you in this video I was watching? It was probably was me. Maybe. Actually, I don't have a lot of videos in Rust, so I don't know. I guess it's kind of a... Kind of a, a shot in the dark. Alright, well, sorry guys. I missed the queue because my game crashed and it wouldn't load again. It's snowing there. Nice. <laughs> That's funny, Tito. I bet that happens. Mostly any Namalsk, uh, spring Namalsk fights. Hey, what's up, Con? Happy Pizza Wednesday, man. All right, <laughs> back. What'd you miss? You missed me missing the reset because my game crashed when I got back in. And uh, by the time I was able to set everything back up and try to load in, I'm stuck in queue. You're getting a snowstorm on spring equinox. Is it the equinox today? I didn't even realize. Very cool. <laughs> the back wall, there you go.
No, I was not in any Rust event, so that was not me then. <laughs> That's crazy, God. Hey, what's up, Wesley? How you doing, man? Good morning, evening, afternoon, whatever it may be for you. Damn, this cube is not gonna move, bro. This sucks. I don't know what to do while we wait. <sighs> Doesn't March Madness start today? Or did it didn't start last night, technically. Anybody watch March Madness? I'm in a... I'm in a paid pool. Uh, I think so, Cap. Face came and get the pool noodle <laughs> out. Uh, you wish. Dinner tonight? It's Pizza Wednesday, Wesley. Come on now. Green salad with roast chicken. That still sounds nice. Best Kuru game for Saturday. <laughs> Man, this is not moving, dude. Uh, the Colts did okay. I mean, we we retained a lot of our, we retained pretty much all of our um. Our, our vets, Pittman. Uh, also we keep Kenny Moore, Pittman, Kenny Moore, Grover, was it Grover, Grover Stewart. A lot of our key guys that were potentially gonna leave, except for Zach Moss. That's the only guy we lost that I was upset about. Added some uh, defensive line depth, notably uh, Raquan, Raquan Davis, I think his name is. He's very good from Miami. Uh, added a good backup in Joe Flacco. And we were in talks to get Legereus Sneed as a really good corner from Kansas City. Uh, and it's kind of halted, but we'll see where it goes. But we kept a lot of the same guys. It's more of a run it back. Add some depth, kind of free agency. That's... Kind of what our philosophy has been is not too splashy, but, you know, add the right guys around who we've already got. Our GM is very much about uh, drafting and grooming our own homegrown talent, you know, rather than spending big money on a free agency and seeing if it works out or not. Because a lot of times it doesn't. You want to build the foundation um, through the draft and add pieces, if necessary, from elsewhere. And we have a lot of draft picks from trades we've made and We've had a good, really good track record of drafting under Ballard, so I'm okay with it. 
and we can get a solid player in our with our mid round first. Uh, maybe a tight end or receiver, corner. Position two, yeah, we're moving up. <laughs> and Colin Brody, <laughs> which chaos. Human stake art on the bridge. That was fun. That was fun. Those were good times. We're loading in. <laughs> nice decom. Here we go. I don't even remember what we were doing. Oh, we are about to switch to the Mosin. Is it still there? Is. Fuck. I could loot this industrial for a scope repair kit. Because now I have my rifle of choice. I just need, um... A clear scope to shoot out of, you know. Awesome. Drop some weight with not carrying three rifles. <laughs> Top of fence now, look at us. Moving up in the world. Epoxy putty's nice. Oh yeah, I was here yesterday, that's right. Repair kit, please. All I need is a scope repair kit, please. Oh, yeah, right. There's another, there's like a little milli at the end here, I think. A pristine knife on the server is like the rarest thing. Holy fuck. Fuck with the pretty boys. Yeah, I don't know. I'm assuming so. I don't know what other Livonia servers she would have in mind, but.
Come on, man. Give me a scope kit. Or electrical kit, whatever it is. That's all I want. That's all I need. What? Okay, GG's. I mean... How, <laughs> how did he hit me? It must have been ping right there. Because I was straight up behind the wall, and I got hit. You could see, like, my character, like, you know, you know when they flinch when they take a shot. <sighs> like, so many times I, I was getting hit as I was behind the wall for me. But I must, it must have been, must have been ping right there. Okay. Well, that sucks. Oh man. Times behind that wall. That must be like east side of the map. That sucks, dude. What sucks about that too is I like I was there and I am very certain I was alone. You know, before reset and then I get a game crash and get into the game a little bit later and then that alters that situation because like I probably wouldn't have been in that industrial zone still at that point, you know? That's just the the way she goes. It's the way of the road. Spawns. I don't know if this is just a good spawn. There's not a lot of people that are out here, but damn. I bet you one of the first things I find is gonna be an electrical repair kit though. Wouldn't that be something? I think what sucks most about that is losing all that NBC stuff. Because I, I found that on a dead body, like that, that whole suit. So I don't know if I'm going to find that again. I don't think, I think I found like one or two pieces spawned. So it's going to be rough putting that together. But I really want to, I really want to explore those zones. into your aisle in a similar fashion? Nah, brutal, man.
Yeah, that's true. Never know. It could still be there. I need to figure out where the fuck I'm at <laughs> first is, is the problem. I at least had a good idea before, uh, and I have no idea at the moment, so... So, okay, hold on. East side. I don't know, man. I'm gonna have to find something I recognize first. Or find a sign. Like a road sign. As long as we're going like east. Northeast. Yeah, perfect. That's fine. We're progressing north. North ish. East. A uh, little town here. Could be something. Is it maybe is this maybe the town I met Baron? It looks a little similar. Oh, there's a load in that part. Yeah, I mean that's where complacency gets you killed. Like I gotta, I, I should have been better in that situation, realizing like I'm coming in. What, probably 15 minutes or so after I was already there. So like, so so much could have happened in that 15 minutes, and so many people could have come in, came and left. You never know. So I should have been a little more careful. It also just sucks that I died without being able to get a shot off because of ping, basically. Like there just happened to be someone sitting in that doorway waiting for me to come out, out of a two entrance building. You know, like what are the odds? And then I get fucking half of those bullets that he lands or I'm behind the wall and he's hitting them because he probably sees me as outside the wall. Or out in front of him, you know. Yeah, I don't I don't mind it either. It just sucks because the loot economy on this map is brutal and it's really hard to find anything. So it, and it's not even like the starting out. It's more so like I lost all that NBC stuff and it's like I don't think I can get I don't know if I'll get as lucky as I did last time. Like I found last time I've had all that I, I found all that stuff because I found a dead body with an entire suit ma minus the mask and a hood or something. And then I found a hood. And now it's a matter of can I find find the mask. I was also starving last time, but we got Either lucky with the food, or they've adjusted it since uh, since yesterday. Why can't I throw a punch without glitching? Yeah, that's kind of. I mean, I like your or unorthodox thinking. I like I like those outside thoughts. But part of the grind and like the fun is not knowing whether it's worth it or not, you know? Like, part of that is the fun for me. I might sound a little weird and kind of psychotic, but... It's just part of the journey, in my opinion, you know? The not knowing. Actually, I think this is where I spawned to start yesterday. Alright, either I'm getting really lucky, or they fixed some food spawn problems. Because, like, people were just starving to death yesterday. Yeah, the NBC, that's what I mean. Like, it's... That's what I'm kind of... Kind of sad about. The guns or whatever. But, like, there's three permagas zones that I really want to see. And I just can't. Oh, they must have fixed it. A knife and food in the spawn areas? There's no way. Uh, what's this? I'm in Seal Bay, okay. That is southeast. Okay, we'll just follow the coastline east, uh, up. Or, north up the east coastline is what I meant. I think finding a gun and hitting the airfield is going to be my best bet for NBC loot. 
I think I think military is where NBC spawns on this map. human being. We'll try chopping. If not, I'm going to have to kill them for their fruit and their bones. Hello? doing <laughs> hello I was doing his like English homework right now. this hello sir can I have a moment of your time he's shivering every time I hear the shiver I like does this weird shift easy on the company clock yeah we called him man What the fuck? Just, just gonna fucking leave this guy. <laughs> Every time I say hello, it's just like a inaudible fucking mic microphone noise or typing. Uh, the best part about that is like, with this open mic, you were hearing him. Uh, you were his mouth was moving like he was talking, but he just hear like keyboard clicks. <laughs> So stupid. Oh god, I love it. Like imagine you're moving your mouth and keyboard clicks are just coming out. So that's such a funny concept. Bones that. We'll we'll let that poor working man uh be you, know, you know, we'll we'll leave him alone. Your, I've already contacted your employer and uh, let them know that you're on AZ right now, so, you know, expect an email from HR. <laughs> That's actually a funny bit, uh, Decon, I like that. Bones and food. Yeah, I know. I just let's let the working man do his job. Maybe he's having a bad day at work, you know. Let's. And he's just trying to blow off some steam in Daisy. Let's just let's leave him be.
HR knows not to contact me when I'm playing Daisy. <laughs> Mannequins placed by the... Dude, that would be really fun. I've always had that idea for the chili, the chili cult stuff, like... Just p strategically place us, like, in a path into the beige house and, like... You know, one of us go out there and be like, hey, you, you need some food? Like, we got some, you know, we got some people back here. They're cool. And then you take them into the base house. Yeah, we got some food in here. And then you just have an entire group of people, like, lined up with with candles leading to the upstairs where they're just going to get murdered. I think st we've done something similar for sure in the past, but not to the extent that I think would be, uh, that, that would make it the best. You know what I mean? If he's busy, <laughs> if he was watching me, I think he would, he would have realized and uh, tabbed back in. Imagine that's him. Maybe, <laughs> maybe he was like watching somebody stream while he waited in queue and didn't realize he was in queue, and that's just him participating in the stream. Boss, wondering why you're mad at the ghost. <laughs> You're in the team's meeting and forgot to unmute your mic. <laughs> or to mute your mic. You share video? Yeah, if you want to. And share as much as, as much as you like to share. Should see this dog right now. He does this thing where he like, if he's not comfortable, he like stretches his legs and kind of moves stuff out of his way. And he does it to the couch cushions all the time. To the couch cushion, he usually sits on to be closest to me. He's knocked off the couch, so he's flipped around to the other side, and he's got his head tucked in between the couch cushion and this cardboard box that happens to be on the couch right now because it's one of E's like work. Uh, like, she has her work stuff in it, and she, like, moved it to do some paperwork on her desk next, next to the couch. It's, if you don't know our, if you don't understand our living room layout, it's hard to, like, explain, but... He's basically got his head tucked in between the couch and this cardboard box, and just, like, he's... Sometimes dogs sit in, like, the weirdest ways, and you just, you just question how they're comfortable. But then you just can't help but laugh, because dogs are fucking adorable. Like, I have the most goober dog. Dude, he does it every day. And then, you know what the best part is, Brandon? Is he'll he'll do that shit, and then when he gets off the couch and decides he wants to come back on, because he'll rotate spots all day long where he, where he sleeps sometimes. And he'll come back, and if the couch cushions aren't where he wants them to be, he'll whine until I fix the couch. Like, he whines for, like, the most baby... Babyish, spoiled brat dog shit. Yeah. He knows he owns you. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he gets what he wants. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's annoyed because he knocked the couch off, the cushion off. But he's laying the other way with his head hidden. Or just ignore me. Hello? Oh. What's up, man? Not too much. 
Or is it just in his... You like on a mission or something? What's going on with you? No, no, no. I just looking around. Okay. He like just didn't even react, bro. In a puppy rot. Destroyed. Oh, I bet, man. Bet. I don't trust to be there. He just like ignored me, like I wasn't there. He just—he's not interested in other people. <laughs> he's got one goal in mind, and that is get loot, man. Get loot or die trying, you know. So I think, if I looked at the map, I think this is this little peninsula that I saw. I haven't been here, this looks pretty cool. I like that the food has changed and you can find some. But it's like not too much. No, it's like a little bit. Get a little bit more to work with. I also really like these beach bear kids. I think that's a really cool touch. Like as if this was an island that they were trying to defend from the from the apocalypse and or something else maybe, I don't know. Maybe it just went to shit. I like that. It looks like like most of these towns are like fortified in in some fashion. I just think it's it looks really cool. There's a lot of like I said earlier, there's a lot of a uh, attention to detail. And some really cool spots. Dude, I'm finding tons of food. Holy shit. Yesterday I found next to nothing. I did notice the wall, I just wanted to loot. Uh, WD. With another super chat today. Uh, $20 this time. I appreciate it, man. Thank you very, very much. For the... Sake, dude. I appreciate the, the super chat and I I wish you the best of luck in dealing with that aftermath. Fucking ah All the love man, I really 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 appreciate the kindness. Just keep following the coastline up. I'm, I haven't really traversed this east side of the map much, so get some water and we'll keep moving. Also, like the sunken ships out in the coastline look really cool. God, I re this map is I, I really like it. I like 10 out of 10 for visuals and attention to detail so far. 
And the loot's improving, then this this is gonna be a, a killer map, let me tell you. Dickens, good to see you, man. Same to you, Dickens. I, it is honestly a pretty good day. Gotta say. Got some good news today. Just a couple... Couple flurries of good news. Not just one, so I'm... I'm, I'm pretty... Pretty... Pretty happy. Pretty positive that... Things are looking up. Good day to have a good day. Fuck yeah, man. Go. You to go. They both looked okay. There you go. <laughs> As long as you did, he got the job done, man. GG's. <laughs> Dumb point, attaboy. Bomb moving. Oh. He's having a community server open, open run again. She says she can't try and do it every month. We're doing it on on some Livonia. That should be fun. I will be around, but guys, do remember that this is E's thing, right? It's not my thing. We're not. It's not like the chili cult stuff. It's you want to fuck around and have fun and all that. Like that's that's the point of it. But just remember, it's not for me. It's it's for E. So we don't gotta use all my bits and and um, whatever the whole time. Let's do what she wants to do and, and have fun, you know. Oh, you can have some giggles. I, I just want you to remember that. That's all. Because I know in the past we've done some community stuff, and if I ever show up, it's like everyone treats it like it's my thing, and it's not, you know? But I don't want to take that away. Chill, are you come close enough? <laughs>
Also, we're going to be trying out... Uh, and I really like Stardew Valley, and Stardew Valley just launched a like massive update. I think we're going to be playing that at some point. And I think we're going to try to play some Siege tonight if people are around. Since we haven't played the past like two nights pretty much. Something new? No worries, Sauce. That's uh, Swedish Kill. She's my girlfriend. Her name is Eve. Shell of Siege for Stardew? Nah, nah, nah. Just saying I'm excited. It's a massive ass update. It's probably the most chill, most satisfying game that I've played. I, I love it. It's it kind of like the same feel you get from Valheim where it's like you're doing <laughs> you're doing some like productive like when you build in Valheim, it's like kinda like that, like just calm. Uh, relaxing experience. Stardew is like pretty much the same in that sense. Like it gives me the same sense of accomplishment when I time things up and I don't know. It's just I like it so much. Stream it? Maybe. Maybe. We, we are going to play it on PC so we'll I go like this way. Should get to whatever those things in the woods are. I don't know about chill. Put an entire castle in Valheim while fighting off trolls. This. Well, okay. I'm talking like early, like early game building is really fun and satisfying. Daisy, that's a cool. Word. That's how we met, man. Both streamed Daisy, and we met met uh, through an event, and then we reached out to like play together, and then now we live together. Love PC COD. I haven't, I haven't played in a while. I've kind of abandoned PC for Dwarf Fortress. War Fortress is my is my uh, consume my consume my brain with with things that aren't stressful kind of game. It's so fun, dude. I do. I, I really, really think. Fuck. I really, really considered making War Fortress videos because, like. That game is just a, a storybook simulation with like so many funny, crazy, random ass and goofy events and it would be so funny to make a video like like start a fort and just like play for, I don't know, X amount of time and just see all the crazy shit that can happen. Like I've had runs where everything's going really well and then I don't know, like my last fort, it was one of my favorite ones of all time. I had this really cool build spot where I like dug down underneath a mountain and there was this really cool ravine with with like a river that streamed through it and I built, I cleared out an entire like man-made cave. It had this really cool like uh, all, all completely built, like we took, we mined everything out and built like these rock blocks and like made this really cool um, city system and I was like so hype about it and then all of a sudden we got attacked by a were panda so like a werewolf but a panda and I was like okay and I had my army kill it and it hurt a couple people and I was like well that was fine but it turns out the were pandas if they hurt or like, if they bite or like scratch uh, your people it will eventually turn them into were pandas, and my entire fort of like a hundred plus people all died and became were pandas. Like it's random simulation bullshit like that that makes it so funny, and it, it simultaneously like simulates an entire world outside of what you do as well. It's such a fucking cool game. 
I wish my wife supported my Daisy addiction. My wife, my she's not my wife yet, but she will be. Um, she supports me in everything I do, and I've never had someone in my life that uh, believes in me so much. So I I appreciate her endless amounts. More loot. Honestly, Tito, it's much better today. Like I spawned down south, and I found tons of food. I found like two, like three more pikas or whatever, and potatoes, some some bacon, chips. Like there's there's actually quite a bit of food so far. Uh, I've been saying, Darren, I really like it. I think it's a ten out of ten visually and attention to detail wise. The map, the loot economy needs to be a bit better, but it is it is improving already. So, you know that's good. I think I think it's it's definitely improving. This is just castle ruins. Okay, I thought maybe it was like a summer camp or something. It's really gorgeous, man. Like there's some really cool spots, and I really want to see inside uh, the gas zones, like really bad. But I feel like I mean I've never been to Scotland, but from what I know about it, like castle ruins, really rocky terrain. Especially on the coastline, like, that seems like it's all pretty on par for, for the area, which is cool. You gotta respect a map that, like, is based on a certain area and, like, kinda hits hits on all the de main details of of the land, you know? I like P&W, where it did a lot, it had a lot of, like, northwestern, like, uh, Pacific Northwest vibes. Like, all the lighthouses and and forests and stuff like that like it just looked looked really cool and and he's from there so she she even said that there, it, there was a lot of stuff that reminded her of uh, back home yeah oh yeah for sure because these are like more fleshed out castles the one the, the quote castles we have on Chern Chernaris are uh, aside from devils and and uh fuck, what's the other one one that sounds like a uh, Krona. Krona. Krona and Devils are, are pretty decently like put together, but the other ones are just like one tower and some broken walls, you know. Get on before the weekend. Hope to see somebody that legendary. Oh, is this a service training area or whatever? What is this? Like a oh, it's no. This is the forestry. Ooh, another thing. Any of you guys watch Beef on Netflix? You know, I watched the first episode last night, and I thought it was pretty interesting. I'm curious to see how it goes. I really like Steven Ewan. Ewan? I, I hope I'm saying his name right, but I think he's a great actor. I like the concept so far. Beef is awesome. Nice. And it's also, like, nice because... The episodes aren't super long. Like, episodes now are all... It's, like, expected to be an hour. But the first episode was, what, half hour? Which is cool. It moves fast. You get a lot... There's a lot to absorb. And it's, like, not too much time wasted. Like, it's something really... It's... He and I like to watch TV or, like, do something while we watch... Or while we eat dinner together. And rather than sitting down for an entire hour, it's just, like, we eat... Watch a 30 minute episode and boom. It's like, uh, it's like old TV. David <laughs> Cho's a legend. Yeah. He is. He is. Mr. and Mrs. Smith with Donald Glover. What? I've seen Mr. and Mrs. Smith. But that, that's probably the old one, right? With like. Isn't that Brad and Angelina, Angelina Jolie? In the old one? Ica. Not the movie, okay. Uh, 
Thunder Donald Glover one is the show, okay. I have no idea. It turned into a series recently. The Spider-Man role. He would low-key be a good spider, like especially young, like younger Donald Glover. He would have been a good Spider-Man. Especially like if they did, if they wanted him to do the whole. Like I'm not into the Spider-Man universe or whatever, but they did like that spin-off with the Miles Morales stuff. Like he would have been perfect. Yeah, he would have killed him, man. He's got that, he's got that, the, the, cur like, the charisma and the energy to him. He's a talented motherfucker, man. He was too old at the time? Yeah. I guess that makes sense, but like if they if they had if they got him like I don't know if they got like community Donald Glover that would have been perfect. Another Christopher Nolan movie, yeah. What's the last thing he put out? I don't even know. Speaking of community, they, they actually announced the movie. So they're gonna complete the, uh, what, the s seven seasons in a movie bit? Which is kind of funny. But they always joke that that's, they're gonna go, I forget, what was it? Eight, was it eight seasons in a movie? Was the joke. And they're actually gonna do it, which is funny. That was a year ago, yeah. I've read that it's in development for sure. Six seasons in a movie, yeah, that's what it was. And they're actually, <laughs> they're actually doing it. Oh, duh. Yeah, he did Oppenheimer. Fuck me. I mean, he could fucking retire off of Oppenheimer for being real. I was Chuck Liddell for Halloween one year. I got my ass beat. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? Oki crush from Annie from <laughs> I can't remember her name. I like the actress's name, but she's good. I I knew who she was from from Mad Men because she plays like a, a a wife of one of the main characters. Good story. Yeah, it, it's really good. Really good. So, uh, so Killian Murphy's fucking. He's he's great. I mean, I wasn't totally familiar with like the story of the guy that made the bomb, but it really uh, really made you feel the the impact and what that dude felt. Like he was really trying to do something unique, and then he realized what the project was going to actually be used for, and he just felt so much regret. You could feel all the emotion really well put together 100% would recommend seeing that I mean if you had the opportunity to see it in theaters like that's the best like that is a movie that experiencing in theaters is well worth it there's always movies that end up coming out where I'm like I need to see that in theaters to really to really like enjoy it to the fullest you know Allison, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. That sounds right. Filmmaking 10 out of 10, yeah. Someone was just here before me.
right, so if we're at the foresting lot, like forestry lodge, whatever it's called. Macbeth's forestry. I want to go to the emergency services training. I'll go up north. Should find it. Batman, uh, Christopher Nolan's Batman's were good too. I'm not even like a huge. I don't. I, I'm really not a fan of super superhero movies, personally. But all the food today, man. I wonder how long it took to like line these trees up. Feeling a movie night tonight now? Hell yeah, dude. We just watched some dumb movie the other night. You know, I will sometimes just kind of watch like random movies that we feel like could be good. And we've been not hitting lately. We watched Locked In last night. Or not last night, like the other a couple nights ago. Movie was kind of ass. very stingy with my picks for directors like I'm, I'm a big Tarantino guy I like Spielberg I like Christopher Nolan I think he's good uh, who's the guy that did 1917 and something else Why can't I think of the director's name? Sam Mendes, duh. Here we go. I think he does really good visual stuff. Oh, dude, The Last of Us is such a good series. I do really like um, Pedro Pascal as well. He's, he's really good in that. He was a perfect Joel. As someone who uh, like is familiar with the game series, he, I think he was like the perfect person. He even has like a touch of similarity when it comes to looking like him, you know? Yeah, Tarantino is probably one of my favorites. I just like his weird like out there approach to shit, you know? I like movies that stray from the norm in terms of like Hollywood filmmaking. Like they do their own thing. You know, they're they're not they're not using the the rules of cinematography. They're just kind of doing whatever the fuck they want. Like that's one of the things I learned in college in my film class was there's this foundation for how certain shots and things are supposed to be, are, are like typically going to be and meant to be portrayed, and the best. The best of the, the directors and filmmakers are the ones that don't follow those rules. <laughs> I just really like that. And I've, it's always intrigued me to like watch and see people take different spins on different uh, like camera work and different like plot tropes and stuff. Like you take this very similar concept or like very familiar concept to most people and you like do something different with it. I've always been fascinated by that. 
I love that shit. Like, I can't stand to watch movies that all have, like, or shows that all have the same fucking camera shots as every other show that's ever been made, you know? There's gotta be some variety, some, some flair, something different. It doesn't even need to be flair, it needs to just be different, and I need to feel uh, pulled in by the, by everything, the visuals, the camera work, like, keep me interested. <laughs> so many shows and movies with very basic already done concepts and camera work you know I didn't like him getting clapped in Game of Thrones though who did he play in Game of Thrones I can never remember dude he was he he was the sword guy right like the the, the swords master or whatever I can't remember Yeah, and Ellie was in Game of Thrones. I can never remember her name, but she was a good pick, too. She's got the attitude for it. I am the perfect jewel. <laughs> Dude, ha Halloween, the original Halloween is so good. For the, like, original, uh... Original like camera work and shit like I I'm not a horror movie guy like I, I just am not but I think Halloween is such a good movie Because it was just so different It was so different to anything that's ever been made at that time and still is very unique no? Yeah, it did Blair Witch Project did too What's up Joe, how you doing man? It then kind of it 100% defined the slasher genre. <laughs> you know, I think if you if you really want to look at the root of people doing whatever the fuck they want and like changing the game, it all starts with uh, with the, with Hitchcock. You know, the vertigo shot, like just doing different things that people have never thought to do with the camera. Hitchcock's number one, man. I never thought watching a movie from like the 50s and 60s would be so entertaining, but some of the some of the best films I've ever watched were were Hitchcock films. Juice? I have not. I have not. I do want to watch that though. I'm a big Pac fan. Great soundtrack, dude. It's gotta be. <laughs> it's gotta be a great soundtrack. Shit, this is like a school fire station. Perfect. I don't know. I, I swear, I'm telling you. The place to find NBC on this map really seems to be military. But I'm real. I'm just trying to test that theory. Very north without a gun. Moment. And then there's somebody ahead of me. This whole time.
weapon. That's fair. I'm so un I'm so inconfident with my melee skills now, though, man. I used to I used to not give a fuck. I just run up to geared players and punch them out. Well, there's two police stations. Indeed, very humbling these days, yeah. You should be, if you could trick someone into letting them, letting you get close enough, you could fuck them up if you knew what you were doing, but. Yeah. Bohemia took a turn and threw it in the king. I think those are trap zombies. I swear, man, I am right on somebody's heel. Police station, what the fuck? And Millie Barracks? Okay. lead developer. <laughs> I think that'll get you something somewhere. I'll gain you some traction. Oh, that'll, that'll win you some votes, you know what I mean? So food seems to be better, but well, say the the gun the gun loot is still questionable. But then we found a derringer that was probably dropped, and now the game has changed. The script has flipped. Fuck's sake, Tila. Fuck. 
Oh, there's the gas mask I needed. There's another gas mask. <laughs> no way. This one's much fuller, I think. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy, dude. That's a little messed up. <laughs> <laughs> this is becoming a this has gotta be a meme. Finally. Someone is trolling, dude. No, stop. Wait, there's so many. What the fuck? I'm just gonna carry two of these. That's fucked. Yeah, someone. Definitely like just here. Ooh. Or I take all these gas masks. Let me take one. I mean these all these all these filters are like used up though. Just in case we can find some charcoal tabs and... Oh. And fill those up. I don't think he messed it up, I think he just did it on purpose. Like he fucked it, you know, he tried to fuck me over on purpose. <laughs> From here, what's north? Elizabeth.
Oh shit, there's more down here. I think I looked down here. Medical and ATC? What the fuck? What's up, Gingy? How you doing? Some food motivation. I don't know. A oh, nice deli meat. Lunch, you know, lunch meat sandwich. I don't know, yesterday I had more of a lunch than I had breakfast. I had a, a ham sandwich, so it was like a honey, something, some kind of smoked ham, deli ham, with uh, had a little bit of Cooper Sharp cheese and also a little bit of garlic cheddar cheese, so good. Like a white cheddar garlic, so fucking yummy, with uh, some, some sprouts, like these like, Stringy sprout things that he buys at Produce Junction that are actually pretty good. Just just some healthy greens. Spinach, mayonnaise, a little bit of cracked pepper, and something else. But just like a loaded lunch meat sandwich. Can't go wrong with that for lunch. Eat freshy meat, there you go. Oh my god, that shadow moving on the reflection of the glass, I thought it was a person. Ideas flowing now, there you go. Chill dogs. Oh, I'm finding his gas masks. <laughs> Ain't that some shit? suit. Maybe. That's what it feels like.
So we're at the okay, the one the bit that's on the coast. We'll just follow the coast up. Some stuff we'll run into. Going the same old way. Excuse y'all, fuck me. A rainy night in Scotland. Nice release on that one, you like that? <laughs> up ahead we're looking for perfect now here's a guy hmm. Ooh, wait it comes out April 11th that early that soon I'm hyped for that I've been so looking forward to the, the fallout show I didn't know it was coming out that soon Have you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Looks so good, man. I'm a big Fallout guy, so like... Yeah, I'm stoked too. Wherever this is looting in front of me is like my arch nemesis, dude. They've been ahead of me stealing all this loot. Whole time. Fuck me. Which was my favorite? I never finished New Vegas because I got too mad, not too mad, but too annoyed that like my game would crash so much. But New Vegas was pretty good. My favorite was probably four. 
such a new gen person, like new gen player thing to say, but I really liked four. I'm in I'm in the middle of playing three as well. I've kind of put it down for a little bit, but. Yeah, the little sediment buildings was cool. I didn't really do that too much. I was just really invested in the story. The laptop's too slow. Yeah, it also just crashes all the time. I just think, like, regardless of the game, it's such a cool concept. Like, Fallout was such a cool and well-executed concept. Like, what if the Cold War wasn't actually cold and everyone actually got bombed? Like, how would the world change? And, like, there's all these crazy different things that they that they created to, to fill out this new world universe, new world order. It's really cool. Played on Xbox, yeah. Makes sense. Exactly, Geekon, exactly. I love that. It's like new it's like new uh, new technology in an old retro setting. It's it's so unique. It's so cool. Ah, uh, yeah, 76. I mean, I bought it pre-release because I was really excited to play it with my friends, and then it turned out to be fucking kind of dog water at release. I've heard it's it's play very good now, but I just never went back to it. I spent like $80 on pre-release for PlayStation, and it was so bad that I never played it again. Never played a Fallout game, that's crazy. <laughs> exactly, Decom. That's the kind of shit that's really funny. Really funny and fun about the Fallout universe. You would not think that this small ass map is full right now. I, I never really played a lot of Bioshock games, but very similar, right? I mean, they're both Bethesda games. So. Yeah, the Fallout lore is really good, too. Like, they, they really built out, like, the New Age world in that setting. They really fleshed it out. You could spend hours in that game just reading shit if you wanted to. But there's also enough action and, like, quests and shit to go do that you didn't need to do that to understand. I can't enjoy the game. <laughs> yeah. Not for you then, I guess. Modding Stalker Anomaly? Nice. Ooh. A jacket. We're moving up in the world. I need to take this medical backpack for now. 
Really, bro? Hopefully it doesn't bomb, yeah. I hope not. Looks like NBC stuff isn't spawning like on these construction sites or anything, so we'll search industrial and keep moving. I'm gonna search all these like broken down trucks too since I found a Mosin on, Mosin on one earlier. Also, fucking uh, the House of the Dragon season two comes out uh, in, in June, I think. I think I just saw like on Instagram or something the like announcement poster or whatever. Dude, I, I watched, obviously there's only one season out so far, and I watched it, and I, me and my buddy who are really big into TV shows and movies, and the first thing we bond over when we met was Game of Thrones, we think it has potential to be better than Game of Thrones. Like, if not just as good. And it can be, I think, <laughs> any Game of Thrones spinoff that ends up, like, being decent can be better if it ends the show on a good note. Like, if it doesn't fucking ruin the end of the show, like, you know, the original did. Season 2 gonna be a rough time, dude. Rip Pedro, man. Unless they start going off the script, because Season 1 was very much... Like, uh, on script with how the show went, with, with how the, like, the game and the show were, went hand in hand, which was good. If they start going off script, I'm gonna get a little, a little meh. It could be ass, though. Yeah. It could be. But right, so far, season one is very solid. Very good. No, no spoilers, but it's very good. Oh, the entire first season is very good. Like, the first few episodes are a little bit of setup. It, it, it's it's entertaining. Like, it's very Game of thrones -y, exactly what you'd expect. And then it really picks up at the end. And sets... The whole first season sets you up for what the show is going to be about. Really sets the stage. So I'm just super hype about it. Well, I mean, like, Game of Thrones, like, the ending that we got, that wasn't actually how the end is supposed to be, because fucking What's-His-Face hasn't finished his books yet, and probably never will. So we just got some dumbass ending from those two dudes who ended up doing Star Wars, and they were so preoccupied with Star Wars that they couldn't give a fuck less about how they ended Game of Thrones. One, I, I don't understand changing writers for the last season. That, to me, makes no sense. 
And I just hope that we don't get a same like repeat of history as we did with that because so far this this uh, you know prequel spin-off whatever is really good and I hope they don't fucking screw it up. <laughs> no, I know he's not finishing it. Which sucks because I really want to know. I have all the books and then if I could get the last one and just have the collection and and find out how it's really supposed to end, that would give me so much fucking satisfaction. Because I'm so I'm still I'm still pissed off about how they ended. Like the last season was good up until uh literally the episode we were waiting for. The fucking fighting of the, you know, between the Starks and the Ice King. Literally what everybody waited for. The entire show. They fucking foreshadow it so many times. Guys, pull the sword. That guy also know that I'm here. What? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Dude, I hit him with that SSG shot. I just not a ah! We just stood there and fucking took that lick. Like I did you guys see that? <laughs> Please tell me someone else saw that too. Like, what the fuck, man? Oh my god, bro has so much shit. Yeah, look, I hit. Well, uh, also. Ruined his shoddy. Crazy. I literally fucking hit the dude. I like flick hip fired him. And he just <laughs> he just stood there in that sight. What the fuck? Oh my god. Yeah, it must have. I swear I just heard footsteps, like someone sprinting.
fucking paranoid now. That's why I keep hearing shit. Shop, <laughs> shop rooms round. <laughs> That was crazy. Like, I even, like, charged at him because I half expected him to go uncon. And, like, ah, oh, SSG is so weird, man. Like, remember when I played in the malls the other day? And I one-tapped a, like, white health dude with a plate, who had a plate carrier on with the SSG? This, this guy stabbed this probably about 10, 20 meters closer. Just tanks it. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Your power is tremendous. Yeah, Daisy Tetris. I probably should have kept my SSG. I don't know if mine was just as damaged or not, but I just took the one with more ammo and wanted to dip out of there. Oh, that took me by surprise. I don't even remember what I was talking about. It's like the first time I've seen a player that sort of way. I'm finding all the shit that I wanted to find last life. Yeah, it is. It's kind of wild. It is kind of wild. I don't know. does feel that way, Tito. I know. It is what it is, I guess. Like, I've... I've argued the point so many times, and I, I don't know. I guess at some point, we'll hopefully see a change, you know? But it is a, it is a pretty big problem. I guess I don't need two knives, like... find love that I don't have a battery please maybe the guy was chunked he could have been chunked but either way I, I thought a stab like an SSG to a stab vest would be an uncon you know Oh, I have a little stick if, not. if I need it. I don't know. It's all good either way. Like, I just really thought, like, I was so confident that that guy would be uncon from that shot. I literally charged at him, knowing I only had that one shot. Yo! What the fuck? Wow. That guy, that kind of goes crazy. RNG. It's 
Seven kill run without dying yesterday. Very nice. That's a really cool concept. Damn, I was excited for that to be like a lot more, but I thought I found like a hidden gem. I got a castle to look at, so that was still a really cool little little surprise. I Maybe mean, a nice little spot to find NPC stuff if you haven't found what you needed yet. Fuck me, dude. And I don't I don't know who developed this map, but they did an awesome fucking job. My dad's going home. It's good. <laughs> well, that's good news. No more hospital for Papa Wad. Good stuff. Oh, honestly, so relieving. A bit, it was a bit of a scare for a second, but... These are like the old castles too. Old castle models. Yeah, definitely a GG's. Happy he can go home. And that is, for the most part, okay. This is such a cool spot, like just rocky mountaintop that overlooks a town like that kind of would be where a castle would be it's, a, it's like a realistic location for there to be a medieval style castle a coastal fort even
Don't pay for chips anymore. That's what's up. I'll take a free bag of Cheetos. Fritos. An original movie in 10 years. There's there's some people that do some pretty original stuff, but yeah, for the most part it is all remakes and revives, you know. That's the trend lately. How can I suck the most money out of people for the least amount of effort? take his BK actually. I'll take that over this one shot shoddy. Uh, got a bunch of ammo for it. different versions of Skyrim. I don't worry, I don't say wow. <laughs> I guess I can fill this spot out quick. Oh my god, he just fucking screamed and it scared me. <laughs> Bro hit me from above and I have a broken leg symbol thing. This map is new. Fuck off in the calm. <laughs> Alright Chris, take care dude. Enjoy your day. Yeah, make that paper. That's for sure. Lots of shots. That way. Back south. I'm trying to get into this gas zone, man.
a broom. <laughs> I don't got the space nor the ammo. <laughs> I, ha I, I figured out how to turn my screenshot notification sound off, so you don't have to. I have taken a bunch today, though. What's up, Charles? How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm doing well. Oh yeah, absolutely. Too many, too many cool shots to not. I'm a photographer at heart. <clears throat> the run has been okay. Some up and down moments, but making progress towards being able to loot the uh, the gas zone. There's a couple gas zones actually. The Scal is this Scally's Bay? I actually don't know. I don't think so actually. So wait, where's this road go? There's a little divot there. Maybe this is Scally's Bay. Let's just keep going along the road. First aid training again, figured I'd tune in. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for tuning in. First aid training, though, eh? Fuck. That stuff's always fun. Aw. Oh. It's important, though, I suppose. Just tedious. He played Daisy. I already got that first aid training. I'm sure that'll work. Time number nine. Nice. Uh, yeah, all the time, Avon. Maybe not all the time, but it's definitely happened. Smell, smelly, and smell, smell. Gotta be dropped, right? Now, let me take. Take the other one.
I'll, I, I'll hold hold on the pollen because get uh I get really bad allergies. So no pollen for me, but I'll take the fresh cut grass stuff. Yo, Billy Bear, please stand up. What was that? I just like moon walked forward, but I tried to hit. Somebody in or on the rock? It's in the rock. To snort the pollen to build up an immunity. <laughs> the immunity. Okay. Yeah, sound sounds legit. Shit, I little villages on the coast. Those look nice, the reflections. Something up there, what is that? There's a weird like... <gasps> There's like a broken Vonia building up there, I think. Haggis. I feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere now.
nice. Little hu uh, hunting camp. Thank fuck. I can get myself a rifle. Yeah, you know, something a little better than the SSG. I'd be happy. I got ammo for all the rifles <laughs> in the game. Go for all the rifles. A little entryway to the cabin. On a little rock platform with a some wood stairs up to it, I like that. That's different. I'm keeps logging out when it goes dark. Sounds about right. Jesus Christ, dude. Brutal. Excuse me. Beautiful. So I assume that we're off to the right of Rakashunik, Chuyuk, some shit like that. Uh, so we'll kind of head back west and go check out there. A really cool uh, hunting grounds though, like hunting area.
fuck, I didn't think he saw me. He's gonna try to talk to him. And they went right for the gun. I realized that they were like super hurt and if I could have just taken the gun and maybe I you know, tried to talk to them and like they didn't have a ton of stuff like they probably just speed ran up here. I was like okay you know what maybe I give it a try. Oh they went right for that gun. Take the IJ though. Yeah, they, I completely faked them out with the way that I moved, too. I made it seem like I was going to flank hard left, and then I... And I just kind of stuck position and, and did like a sneaky drive right at them, and they didn't, didn't expect it. Happy hump day, that's right. When was this map released? Not too long ago. As, as far as I'm aware, it was... Uh, over the weekend. Over the past weekend. Didn't I have a spare SSG mag? Thought I did. Maybe just the one. I spent too too long trying to like figure out if I had anything to tie them up with or if they did. And then I just decided to start stripping their shit so they couldn't shoot at me, but yeah, I didn't, that wasn't quick enough. So we had to take them out. Good time at work. Good to see a DVDA. Appreciate you. Hope you're well. say the time has been flying by on these runs these new maps are really helping things stay relatively fresh Yeah, honestly, really nice, really nice to see. And they've improved the loot economy a ton. It's so much better than what it was even just yesterday. Yesterday was my first time on it, and it was, the loot was really bad, and it's much better today.
Hell yeah, dude. Hope you enjoy. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Sorry if I get quiet for a minute, guys. I'm just like... My mom is keeping me and my siblings up, up, to, up to date on what's going on with my dad, so... I'm just reading and making sure everything's cool. So far, everything's okay. It's going home. So that's a good thing, you know? I've kept that on the DL and been bothering me, but having a little bit of relief in knowing that he's leaving the hospital and all is good. Been busy with work? Yeah, I bet, man. I bet. NBC hood for just a slight second. I got excited. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. It feels good to just get it off my chest too. Like obviously I've told E about it, but I'm just like honestly, that's just <laughs> like goes to kind of show a little bit. Sometimes you never know what somebody's going through, like, and I'm not trying to bring on the pity party it's just like you never know if someone's like going through some shit like I just tried to, to keep moving and do what is supposed to be my job to the best of my ability because I kind of don't have to everyone's got to keep moving sometimes so that's the mentality I was trying to have and you know keeping it in is not always fun but being able to finally just be like okay yeah take a breath everything's good and get it off my chest just feels really good is all I'm trying to say. Dope full patrol. <laughs> Fuck it, let's do it. you guys I appreciate that we do have a good a good group here so certainly helpful The police stations have really not been spawning much. More like the the cars have a lot more. Welcome back, Gingy. Best in all of you too. Thank you. That's that's kind of you. So I'm off BK. It is a cult. <laughs> it is a cult. Oh boy. What the fuck? Econ has been here. I'm down bad for CQC. You know it's bad when I'm using a BK to clear buildings. Watch, I bet you I find a Glock here and I just drop my fucking Glock. Glock mag. Ooh. Yeah, let's go Scorpion actually. Much would I would much rather have a scorpion than fucking an IJ. Ooh, yeah, we were just like we were just uh, talking up the scorpion the other day on stream. So fuck it, give it a run. <laughs> What's the initiation process like? 
I mean, the way we've held, quote, initiations in the past is, uh, we take you to the Calm Birdie River and say a few words and shoot you in the head and you come back reborn. Something late. And you gotta eat the chili at the well, yeah. Then you're, then you're one of us. And don't question what's in the chili, just eat the chili. Don't ask too many questions, just do as you're told. Separate game from Daisy? No, it's a separate map, not a separate game. I swear I saw two scorpions. This one's badly damaged. If it's badly damaged, I don't know if I take it. That shit's just gonna jam up on me. I'd rather have the IJ in that case. I could have sworn I saw two. Yeah. Ooh, I think I keep the IJ then. Fuck it. I just, SMGs have such a big reputation with me and, and jamming. So fuck it, I'm just gonna stick IJ. Since I'm on PS5, how would I play the Livoni mappers? They're already in servers because it's confusing. All you gotta do is buy the DLC and then you can filter out um, to find servers on official or community that run Livonia as its map and then you can just there's already servers ready to go that have it so you just find the servers that are running it and uh and play them pretty simple dude they've already been here I've already been here, Anthony. They were here two days ago to... Um, they were here two days ago to, like, line the spots that needed mulch, then they were here yesterday to put mulch in, and then today they were here for God knows what. Sorry for any team users. That's E getting a call. Hunting you right now? No. Alright, DVDA. Take care, man. Thanks for stopping in and have a great rest of your day at work. Appreciate you stopping in as always, man. It's like, hell yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. Bring it back to you. I bet they charge an arm and a leg for that, though. Or maybe they don't, maybe I'm wrong. I kind of just want to go southwest to like an airfield or something. Try to find the rest of the suit. I've been all up the east coast. It's been a cool little exploratory run, if nothing else. But I think the airfield is where I'm going to really find the stuff that I need at this point. And if we die, we die. You know?
uh, an MBC suit for the, there's three different gas zones, like perma gas zones on here that look really cool, especially one up north. That's like a, uh, a castle that ooh, has been like refortified by the military. And it looks so sick. All right, so now, up the BK. Um, but yeah, and it's all, it's like, it just, there's a lot of really cool areas I want to, I want to check out that have it. I require an NBC suit. We can drop the SSG and the BK. worth in the long run shit see but decon there's a difference between cannibalism and chiliism you should know that We're not cannibals, we just eat chili. It used to be a much more viable concept back in the day before they made it so that anything you ate that was raw gave you that like, you know, whatever. You, it made you like grunt. Like you're fucking Steve from Minecraft, you know? It used to be so much better. You, you used to be able to you should be able to just eat raw guts and it'd be fine. You turn into a cannibal, but I mean a chilius, but I may have revised the story a little bit on our, our side. That's fair. That's fair. The thing is, is I would I would survive like hours doing that shit. It was so fun. I win so many gunfights against people that were fully stacked, and I was just like a raw human gut eating psychopath with an army of freshies and a BK-18, and we would just kill so many gear people that would come to kill us. It was awesome. Eat someone with friends. No, cannibals eat human steak. We eat. We take the human guts and turn it into chili. That's the difference. <laughs> Common misconception, guys. Oh my god, this dog. Take a picture and we'll put it in Discord in a bit. Let you take a picture of this dog. Like this is what he does. <laughs> oh, he's such a goober, dude. Also, Anthony, your your puppies are adorable. I'm seeing them right now. I just posted a... What Uno looks like right now as he's laying in the couch next to me. I said in, not on. He's laying in the couch right now. Damn doggo. So if you, go, if you join our Discord and you go to the pet section, All the fun I missed over the years, I dropped out of gaming. Like what? What'd you miss out on? 
Yeah, dude, your dogs are gorgeous. That puppy's adorable. <laughs> Gotta send this to Eden, too. send this to you. Oh, was Battlefield 2 in CSN? Oh, wow. Okay. pop it in one of these buildings quick and go to the bathroom. I haven't had a potty break kit today, guys. Yeah, but it's never too late to get in the gaming, man. You can always get back into it. Once a gamer, always a gamer, you know? Yeah, he put. I told you he pushes the cushions off. He's, he's a brat. But then sometimes he doesn't feel like laying on, the couch without the cushions. So he will stand up and whine until I put them back up. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's an adorable puppy, Philly. Australian Shepherd. He looks like a stuffed animal. <laughs> he's so he's so cute. It looks like fake, you know. All right, so we went like southwest. I think we're at those three little purple dots in between Chunuik and Scally's Bay. So if we keep heading southwest, we should get a road and that's pretty close to there. Take this Mosin to the airfield and see what we can do. I like my movement on here, choppy.
like toy version of the breed so he'll max like 12 pounds aww is he a runt or is he just like is it just like a sub sub breed i don't know that's like smaller all right charles take care dude have a great rest of your day he's live do you want you guys play together? We, we will. We, we play every Thursday together. You know, we just like to have our own own things going on, you know? And she's playing with beans, I think, so... She's doing that. I'm doing my solo thing, trying to get to the gas zones, and... Yeah. Let me fix some of these clothes so I'm not so cold. Okay, so you have a. I see. That's so funny. So cute, though. The patrol stuff is is like water resistant, right? So it should only be damp. Good. Mm, I also thought I had two sewing kits, but I don't. Items are disappearing. Like, I thought I had a spare SSG mag earlier, and I thought I had a spare sewing kit, and I was just not thinking straight. I thought I picked up a sewing kit, and I remember thinking, like, whoa, I haven't seen any of those at all. And then I also thought I picked one up off the dead guy. Maybe I just didn't have the space, and I clicked on it, but didn't actually pick it up, you know? First dog was the movie. Yeah, that's fair. Understandable. I'm a big, uh, a big dog person. So I, I would like. I've always grown up with a bunch of big dogs. Some small dogs too, but mostly big boys. So I have a, a fondness in my heart for big dogs. Just be not too not too far. Should be pretty close. I think I'm gonna get into one of those apartments and overlook it a little bit and see if we can uh, spot some people. This is it like the first time on this map that we have a a good rifle with a clean scope? Shit, I think it's awesome, buddy. I thought I did. Female micro bully is pregnant. Oh, you're hoping. Okay. Like, I'm running alongside this road and I'm heading like westish. Yeah, yeah. Should take me to the to the airfield. Or close to it anyway.
There's something down there. I think that's the toxic zone off to my left. That should mean this is the airfield up here. Not the airfield. Oh wait, I think this is the town. This is this should be the town right before the airfield. Then I think this is the town that. I looted with Bear before we went to the airfield and died. I think that's where we're at right now. I think I can kind of see the airfield distance that way. No! What? A three hour, re three hour reset? It reset at noon, didn't it? I guess I thought. Just a reset, I think. Hope it comes back up. No worries, Alan. Hope you had a good day, dude. It's been a good one for you, uh, for us as well. Stream's been good. Server is down though. It doesn't come back. I'm. I don't know. I think it's back up actually. Connecting now. Good. Uh EBO air. So something got updated by the early set, I guess. Something. Uh, 
vanilla plus plus. Should be good now. I think we're good now. Fucking black screen right now. I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? I just did that. Ugh. Seems like other people are having problems getting into me. Verify this mod again. Downloading. Let me open Steam. Downloaded them from Steam. Ask me. Closed day. Open it again. Find the map. Oh. Fuck. I keep hitting the wrong shit. People are joining in though, so it's not an impossible endeavor. Come on, let me in. <laughs>
Other people are getting in though, so something on my end. Let me verify my fucking mods. Verify all my mods. I think, I think they're all done, pretty much all of them, yeah, all of them are done now, so I just verified all my mods, restarted steam and stuff, if this doesn't work, then I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, maybe we just call it. What the fuck, dude? I don't know. I don't know what else to do. Maybe completely shut Steam down? Like... I've updated this mod, like, four times. Or verified. Whatever. Alright. Well, we'll try. It will shut down Steam. Uh, say, yeah, that's on. All right, we'll re reopen Steam. That's my Windows thing. Verifying installation, blah, 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 blah. Okay, downloads. Nothing. Let me even go into the... The... Even go into the workshop, visit the workshop, view my subscription. Do. Workshop, search, vanilla, plus. plus. Plus, plus map I'm subscribed I will unsubscribe and resubscribe watch it download complete that out the way run the launcher find the server
play. Yes. Yeah, it happens to me too. It's always with like a mod update and shit, you know? It can be annoying, but... Yeah, I, I kind of liked it too, Excess. I know it was maybe a little like dramatically sparse, but um, I think it's still okay. Like there's not, you don't find too much. You find enough to, to get you going, but. Oh my God, we're loading in. This. Yeah, I, I had, I just did that twice. I had a couple other things sometimes work too. Finally. Why is my OBS being uh, annoying? I'm in the game, OBS. Look at me. <laughs> Come on. That. <laughs> I'm just having all sorts of problems. Window, Daisy. Yeah. There we go. Oh, a heli right here. Fucking hell. And we're back. Get me on bare minimum C, yeah. That's what that server was for. Rest in peace, the cult of Livonia, man. We had to shut it down. I didn't renew it past its uh, its one year lease. <laughs> Fuck this. This is like deja vu from yesterday. I might get sniped again. <laughs> Moss. I think I'll pat. <sighs> I probably should take the Lamas. But no mag for it kind of stinks. I'll take it for now. I can't even pronounce it. I can't even. I haven't even attempted to. Alright. 
We'll wrap around this rock formation. Like, not even that foggy right now. Oh, yes, baby! I think that's the town or the airfield? One of them. Oh, that's kind of, I think that's... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In the town. Dang, I can't tell actually. It didn't sound like an indoor shot. It definitely sounded like an outdoor shot. I want to get into this town and see what, see what we can get into. See if we can find somebody or some spawned NBC stuff. Somebody with NBC loot or, you know, something. I want to get that full suit. Like, obviously I want to get into some action and have some fun. But the main goal is for sure to, uh, to get a full NBC suit and get out. So if it comes down to that, I'll play it safe if we get what we want. We need boots, gloves, and a hood. Maybe some charcoal too would be nice. I mean, yesterday I found a dead guy, or at least a stripped dead guy. That had a whole suit minus a hood and a mask. I found a hood and died today looking for a mask. Let's check it in. Give me. T two. I don't think I don't know if I've ever seen T two. I don't even know if I know what that is. Oh, Terminator. I don't think I've seen, I think I've seen the original Terminator and that's it.
it's better than the original. That's on the roof of big, big apartment. A blazer. You know, on a ba back side, balcony or the roof? I'm, I'm gonna go with the roof. Is this broken now or what? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> oh my god, this fucking scuffed ass shit. Back up. Let's see if I can get an angle on him peeking off the roof or something. Back a little bit, see if we can get a deeper angle. I also gotta be on the lookout for whatever this guy was shooting at. Fuck off, Tina. I don't know. I know this guy that's sniping up there is going to be a problem if I let him sit, but...
Roof guy's been there for days, probably. It's probably the same guy that was shooting at me yesterday. From that set of apartments. I wouldn't be surprised. It's the same guy, okay. Like, quite literally. Got you. I want to get into a nice, advantageous position and get a look around. Yesterday there was like fucking six people here and I didn't even know. Roof campers are well. At least roof campers play the game. So, if actually, you know what? Most of the time, roof campers and combat loggers are the same people. If we're saying okay, they're playing fair or they're combat logging, then combat loggers are even worse. As roof campers are afraid of dying, so they sit on top of a roof and camp a ladder so that you, they feel like they can't die. But then you have combat, combat loggers who literally just don't play the game. Their voices. These two people. Dude, you're fucking- that is such a joke. Yeah. <laughs> 
What a fucking joke. people talking though. Oh, there's people around. The zombies spotted me on the ladder and fucking ESP tracking me into the building is so so dumb. What's up Tickler? How you doing man? I'm heading for that Livonia tower to make the fire in the bottom floor. That one just just the any... way we were heading, yeah. Yeah. Do you have any water on you? Uh, yeah, I've got some water. I think. Yeah. Because I'm dying of dehydration now. Is it clean water? It is clean. Yep. Half a canteen. I can't jump, and I don't think there's any holes, so I don't know there how to get through here. Oh, thank you. Uh, we can, uh, um, yeah, no. <laughs> Have you been struggling for food and water on this map? Uh, oh, you've been hoarding it all then. I haven't found any knife until I met you. Come on, dude. These zombies are fucking pissing me off. Come on! What the fuck is it doing? This is such a joke! Oh my god! I, I just, I can't. Oh! Let me get my fucking shoes. Why is fucking gun raised so far back? Bruh. What an absolute fucking joke.
wanted it. <gasps> Alright, so that zombie leading out was chasing someone. This guy's watching that. No! Where did where did he flank to? There was a wall! There was a wall between us! Shit! Damn, dude. That sucks. Maybe a second guy in. I thought my second shot hit, I'm not gonna lie. Fuck! What are the odds he jumps right there? Guy in tower? No, it's too close. Because it was an SKS versus a Mose in close quarters. What do you want me to do? Whip out my IJ, reposition and give uh, give myself a better position to use my Mosin to my advantage. Had a Mosin two shots, and if the moment he hears me reloading, he's gonna push me with the SK. So I don't know what you would rather me do there, Mister Professional. <laughs> oh, John Wick is that? Okay, yeah. Let me just. I nailed him with the first shot? I don't think so. I mean, I, I thought at first, but that close, it definitely would have, uh, it definitely would have, uh, knocked him. Fuck, dude. That whole, that whole situation was so scuffed because of the, the zombie thing. Like, I, I had those two guys, like, they were just, like, dicking around in the alleyway. I easily could have hopped the fence and, like, Pro, you know, provoke that fight, but I'm just dealing with a fucking zombie who doesn't. Know, oh, dude, that shit made me so annoyed. Like it w literally just wouldn't go into the doorway. Like two open doors, and it won't go in because they're just poopy. And I'm like, I guess that changed the, the situation a bit. And yeah, it is what it is. It just like not how I wanted to play it, that to play out, obviously. Uh, it was a zombie next to me that hopped the fence at going towards the shots. Yeah, the first shot was was a little off when he hopped the fence. Like I was, that just like scared me. I was like, oh fuck. Yeah, and then like I see him in the. F oh my god, dude! I see him in the tower, and I the gun raise, <laughs> even though I'm pointing through a window, man. Uh, I I did think the second shot hit though. I thought it did, but it clearly didn't. And then at that point I'm like, all right, I have two round two rounds in my in the chamber. Um I need to just reposition and try to give myself a better opportunity to make a play. Like I'm not winning that fight up close with an SKS and I thought there was a wall between us, so that's why I I chose to run. I also didn't know if there was maybe more pushing from the other side or what, but weird. I don't know. I guess there was a gap on his side and he was able to just fucking Run around and pop me. GG's to them. So many things just frustrated the shit out of me there, though. <laughs> well, that's it for me, guys. I'm I'm not gonna go for it. It's at my five-hour mark, anyway.
That airfield is a shit show. Oh, man. Oh, GG's, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate you. Shout out to MD for the two massive super chats today. Um, had a bunch of rememberships and gifted memberships. Thank you, Mena. Um, I can't remember everybody that rememberships today. Tyson, they won. A uh, bunch of people. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all for the support. Uh, if you haven't already liked the stream, please make sure to do so. It does really help me out. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I do stream uh, most weekdays for now. Uh, mostly Daisy. Sometimes I sprinkle something else in, but mostly Daisy. Uh, my brain's tired, man. <laughs> that shit just made my head hurt. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> that made me so fucking annoyed. But it's time anyway. I'm gonna take a little bit of a break and then go hustle some more. Doing some other shit, so. Yeah. I'll redirect you guys over to E probably if she's still going. I'll send you guys over to E. I think she's also playing this map, so go show some love over there, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.